Introducing the NES Controllers Double Pack for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting, bringing you an unboxing video of something that I really should have had in my collection for a long time, but I'm always after a great deal. These ones I can tell you usually retail for roughly $80 to $100 online, and I paid just a fraction of that price because I was very, very patient. I waited for years until I actually found these. These ones I spent $20 on, shipping was roughly seven bucks, so I got them at roughly one third of the price. Awesome item. The retro style packaging on these is really cool because this is from the 90s. I will show you the year on the back, even though the NES was actually built in the 1980s. So we do have the picture of the two very iconic controllers on here. This does have the official Nintendo seal of quality on it. And it also has a sort of style of packaging that has stars in the background, just screams the 90s and the late 80s. Pretty cool on the side as well, the same kind of packaging. On the bottom and the top is much more of the same. Top's a bit darker, obviously. And on the back, it does tell you a little bit more information, especially this blurb here. Precision Game Control adds two more standard game controllers to your NES for four-player excitement. High-tech design for the most precise game control ever. Plug them into your control deck for two-player fun, or into your NES satellite or NES 4-score, and experience the thrills of Nintendo's growing library of four-player games. One of my favorite four-player games is Bomberman, and eventually Super Bomberman. That's really a great game to pull out your NES satellite or NES 4-score, and two more of these controllers if you have two already. So the year is on here, as I did say. Way down here at the bottom right-hand corner, you can see that it says 1990. So again, even though that the NES was made in the mid-80s, this is actually from 1990. So let's open this up and see what this particular set comes with. You can see there's two controllers in there. They're obviously a little bit used, but at a fraction of the cost, that's one of the ways that I was very ready to actually pick this up. I can clean the controllers off, but I can't really get my hands on this box packaging, and that's really what you're paying for. So there's two of the controllers, as iconic as they are, a little bit dirty on them, and these things, it says that they're comfortable and they're precise, and it's so funny to use these today because, as you know, the corners actually feel pretty harsh on your hands, but holding one of these in your hands, it is immediately, for me, nostalgia, because I played this at friends' houses growing up, and the buttons feel so cool. Such an old school controller that controllers now do way more, especially the Wii U gamepad, but they're really cool. So clearly this comes with two of those, and inside the box we also have some instructions, and it also actually comes with the baggies, so that's surprising to me. I didn't know that it would come with that, and it even comes with the original twist ties, or at least twist ties it comes with. I'm not sure if they're original, but we'll see. So the baggies themselves are probably just for the controller cords, I'm not really sure. This one comes with four of them, clearly what I'm buying here is not brand new. But here it says, danger, do not open unless, so they're kind of antagonizing you. I don't know if this has ever been opened. This seal looks so old, I'm going to slowly open this open. It looks like this hasn't been opened anyways in years, but I'm really a collector that's not about sealed items. I usually like collecting items to open them up and to experience them and to use them. Unless it's a really rare item that's already sealed and you don't want to damage it and you don't want to affect its value and in that case I'll probably just end up getting rid of it because I want to play my games I want to use my controllers and test them out make sure they work so I usually don't keep things sealed especially video games a lot of people keep the video games themselves sealed and that's kind of crazy to me I want to open my games I want to experience them even the controllers do not open unless you're ready to become a power animal that's hilarious so this is all about Nintendo power sharpen your claws on hot tips like this for Super Mario Bros. 3. So they're really catering to the Mario fans in there. So you can, yes, I want to be unleashed. So you can fill this out to actually get Nintendo Power. Now my game has a real bite. Info galore. Look at these ads. Look at that guy's hair. Look at this. That's crazy. That's so awesomely 90s. Even the outline of this guy. You'll gobble up tasty maps like this. One from Mega Man 3. That's hilarious. These little inserts are really cool to go back and look at. And it looks like there's some posters. We'll get to the posters at the end. Here's the NES controller instruction booklet. So these are specific to this packaging that I got. This is really why I got it, because I'm getting everything with this. So it has the official seal. It has a help thing. It actually talks about the operation. Hey, if you never knew, there was a control pad, select button, start button, and A and B buttons. There you go, because knowledge is power, in case you never knew. Proper care. I'm just curious to see what this actually says right here. What does it say about proper care? Avoid exposure to high temperatures, humidity, or severe shocks. Keep in a clean, dry place. No water, basically. Use a soft, damp cloth to remove any stains. Do not use abrasive alcohol or solvents. When 
When disconnecting an NES controller from any socket, grasp the controller and pull slowly. Do not pull from the cord as damage may result. Of course it might. Section 2, the warranty and warranty limitations. So that's pretty cool that you actually get this. That's the main thing. If you're a collector, try and get everything original condition if you can. Also with any sort of inserts. And the posters of this are just a bonus. I'm not sure if I'll put these up. Let's take a look what these look like. So here we go. The end. Wow, these posters are in excellent, excellent condition. The four-player accessory. So one of them is the NES Satellite, and the other one is the NES... NES 4 score really depends on what you like and they have a whole bunch of four-player games on here that you could actually use the controllers with it looks like anyways fast break world cup kings of the beach swords and serpents NES play action football super strike v-ball which is volleyball a nightmare on Elm street don't get me started on that game and then we also have gauntlet 2 super off-road looks like m-u-l-e or mule and top players tennis and i'm sure there's a lot more that goes with that, so that's pretty cool. I'm not going to use that poster, but it's just neat that it actually comes with the original packaging. And I'm wondering what this poster is. Probably more of the same, but this one's double-sided. Let's open this up. Take a look at all the ones. Of course, it had to have the slogan, first of all. Now you're playing with power. So cool. And here's a bunch of games on there, tons of them. So there's just a cool looking poster again, and it almost looks like there's a whole, just now you're playing with power is bursting out yelling at you how awesome Nintendo is from the 90s, that's pretty cool. And on the back, this one has Get the Power, Nintendo Power, with the Super Mario Bros. 3 and the Batman covers. A one-year subscription brings you 12 issues, of course, with all these maps and different things like that. So the posters are really cool. It's really neat to get everything in this and actually open this up and take a trip down Nostalgia Lane if you haven't done so in a little while. So all the little inserts increase the value of this. The baggie for the inserts increases the value of this a little bit. The baggie for the cords, I'm not sure original, I can look into that, but just having the box, the two controllers and the baggie and the inserts is really why I got all of this. So I think that's a pretty good deal for under $30 with shipping. I got two more controllers to use. This video went a little long, but I was just really excited and want to talk a lot about the NES controllers. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment below. What is your favorite controller of all time? Personally, this one's so nostalgic, but I'm not sure if it would be number one on my list. Thanks again for watching. Feel free to fill that like bucket. Follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video. And remember, as always, go collect them all and keep smiling while gaming.